this is not speaking yes. <laughs> Wait, how much power does it have if you take it off? Oh, tons. Excellent. Dun 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 dun. I'm gonna put that there. Posting. <laughs> it's not like doing a posting. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're gonna do it, I'll put it up though. Yeah, 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 well, it doesn't matter, it's just more recording what it was said out here. And it's kind of fun. Blah. Oh no, I'm not even in the shot, am I? Okay, see, I need to move it now because I'm already basing my walking patterns on my shot walk. I'm gonna cry. Nah, He's such a narcissist. Pretty of a narcissist. Hey, as if you, you want to be recorded when you're saying stuff. We just said, you're not only really born when you're recorded. Mm. I like that. But they, they, it needs to be like, they need to be hidden in the wall though. Yeah. <laughs> totally not gonna act normal with a camera sitting in the corner. Nah. With a flashing light. Beep, beep. Beeping at you. Beep. I am recording you, yes. Well, it just needs to be permanently up there. Like, permanently actually in everything all the time. And you get over it. And you, you become you then. Well, I think, like I was saying, this is a massive business opportunity if you could really push... I was thinking that too, right? Hey? The idea that, it, and not just that, partly because um, I think that <laughs> if we can actually convince people to actually start, start recording, recording their lives, then you're going to just propel the whole hive mind benefits and pitfalls. Like, well, actually, doing it to, we, if we actually targeted, say, like, richer people and said, like, hey, they had some money to spend and all of that, it, we could actually probably boil it down to, like, 10 yeah. grand a year or something, and you just record everything, and we say, look... The, hu the language processing already is nearly here. Just yeah. wait a little while and you'll be able to see exactly. We do the exact same software that he used, like, you know, track your way around. You can say the evolution yeah. of your ideas. If you have cash, that'd be great. Sell it in, like, Sydney somewhere. You sold to anyone. No, you need money. Well, you wouldn't need 10,000. Like, fuck, if you had, um... To start just... with, you would, yeah. No, if you just... If you de develop, like, some really cool, um... You know, say, say you got our wireless webcams again, whatever, with a yeah. built uh, mic, you just snap them up to the ceiling. Yeah, and put them in, but they're Wi-Fi, then they just... The installation's not going to be cheap. But see, so you just upload it constantly. I, we don't have the bandwidth for that. 24-7 well, uploading of, not like, a, not a 12, ca not 12 cameras. Yeah, but, I mean, that's all we can really target right now. Yeah, but in the States, they could do that so easily. They just yeah, true. put one in every room, have one single... But even yeah, that regular computer. I, I just... still don't think uploading is the. I still think you'd have to actually put it on like servers or something at the moment. That's where you get the cost. But eventually, don't get me wrong, it'll go into uploading. But if you wanted to get in on the ground floor, because I guarantee you that a lot of people are thinking this, you'd have to go with servers. You'd have to be established now. Yeah. You could. It'd be good fun. And upload all your data. Yeah. Upload so sure you could like get rent out a whole bunch of space. Somewhere. Yeah. Giant. Data server for them somewhere. And when you want to do the uploading stuff, yeah. Because then you can always compress the video a lot and compress it all as much as you yeah. need to. It'd be pretty damn sweet. I'd love to have that though. Like, I swear, like when I have kids all that, like everything like has to be recorded at least in the house yeah. or something. Like how old, how <sighs> that kid in like when he's like twenty so or something. So lucky. He's gonna so love lucky. that. You could and like I'm just the the algorithms, the, the actual analysis you could provide. You could watch yeah. how you learn concepts. You can analyze what your influences are. Yeah. I mean, imagine having a, like a printout, a statistical like sheet, an A4 piece of paper, saying that this is where your major influences are, this is where you've mainly got most of your thoughts from, yeah. this is what has influenced you the most. This TV show has guided your thought patterns the most. Like, yeah. my God, this talk. And then you can start getting life recommendations. That's it. It says that, hey, look, you're <laughs> focusing a lot on this. This guy is very similar. Maybe you'd actually get some stuff from him. Yeah, because someone this. else does, yeah. has had the exact same thing. Yeah, go talk to that dude. Or this TV show is actually making you stupid. Yeah, <laughs> stop watching it. Don't watch Jersey Shore. <laughs> it's giving you a misrepresentation yeah, of reality. That's <laughs> where we get the hive minds right there. Because that's where they actually start, like, you know, joining people together and actually saying that, hey, look, you're analyzing, you're getting a lot of your information from zero, like Ted and Kevin Kelly and yeah. Kurzweil and all the other big crazy people like that. And I was like, hey, do this, do this, do this. They do the same thing with everyone else who's interested in this stuff. And then everyone is roughly on the same footing. That's oh. the hive mind right there. For the singularity. As I thought, um, <laughs> you know how, you know how um, parents are all, always are uh, big on like, uh, you know, putting their, putting their kids through the best or whatever. Yes, yes. Their kids always have to have the best. Have to have the best. And that's naturally some kind of evolutionary type thing yeah, that seems to do it. So, imagine if kids start becoming recorded constantly. 
Yeah. And you can actually see parents can go out and pull ah, millions okay. of people who've like gone from you know from childhood childhood, they'll pick the most successful people and they'll be like, I want my child to be like that successful person. And they'll give them the same influence, same students. Exactly. Like, they'll be like, I want them to do that, and then they'll direct the computer and say, yeah. or the system and say, make sure this my child ends up roughly similar to this person. Or here's the traits that I want in my child. That is it. Give That's them this, the traits. Give them this information. Fuck Gattaca or like use Gattaca a little bit to go through like, you know, yeah. programmer, but then actually have a console and say that, hey look, as they're growing up, as they're using touch screens from like zero to five, say, I want yeah. these traits. Um, accentuated in my child. I want curiosity. Curiosity, yeah. a big tip. I want love and music. Plus, 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 plus. Love love. Yeah, massive. Uh, that's what I, that's, 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 that's. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what you, that's what you program into the Yeah, yes. you program, you start this programming. Is what we be, this is what we've been talking about. It's good fun. And it's not cool. <laughs> it's, it's cool in one sense, but in another sense, oh my god, fuck that. <laughs> it's the future though, you can't. But we're programming, we're programming humans. But They're we just... already have been programmed. We I know, just haven't been in control just... of it. Yeah, it's not obvious. Yeah, like we're we're being programmed by everything. But now we can actually at least say, hey, 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 wait a minute. I want to do it this way. Well, that's yeah, why this recommendation shit. Someone needs to not have control of that. It has but to be I, decentralized. I, I, I think it will be because say like the individual. Let's move it up from the kid, and you say like it's one of us or something, and we say that hey, look, I would like to actually have more of this. I'd like to have more of that. I'd like to have more of that. It analyzes everyone that's very similar to you, and it starts putting you on a path to end up becoming that type of person. You actually start dictating your future by giving up control and realizing that you're not perfect. You sure. actually put into a computer. At age 26, I would like this. So give me three years to work all of this out. I'd like to be really interested in music. I'd like to be a master painter. And I would like to, I don't know, be an expert gardener. Uh, it's like taking a personal development to the next yeah. level. Yeah, you just put it in. Because it then starts feeding you the information that <laughs> helps people go to that. Then again, that's just making like the lack of free will so fucking obvious <laughs> in, in your face. It's, it's like, well, three years ago today, you said you wanted to be here, and because our algorithms are so good, we actually got you there. Congratulations! Really? The idea of free will is just a comfort blanket. It's so silly. Yeah, but you take that comfort blanket away, and then what are people going to think? Well, most people don't... I, I would argue most people don't think there is free will. Well, most people don't even know what the idea of free will is. This is how stupid the human populace is. <laughs> True. But literally, I could, I could, I'd say probably 80-90% of the people we know don't know what free will is. I don't know what free will. Well, well they, know what free, they know that, no, they actually they don't. They've heard the term free will, but they don't understand its implications. Yeah, true, they don't analyse it enough. Because the, the, the same argument was like, oh, oh, I try to explain free will, I'm like, I can lift my arm right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. It's like, do you have a free will? I'm choosing to lift my arm. And like, fuck, I, fuck I, you I, so I'm gonna, much right now. I'm going to go drink a beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not worth arguing with. Yeah. I like that idea though, I really do. The whole pipeline is actually programming where you're going and dictating it that way. Well see, if we actually, if we or something, or if the trends push that, hey, life logging, you know. We can have a life log more. I, 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 I swear, next house going into, I'm putting cameras everywhere. As soon as yeah. I have money, I'm going to start recording. Everything. But see, if, if that trend catches on and everyone starts life logging, then just, it's just a matter of like sharing all that data again. Yeah, yeah. You get and then, great analysis. And then it's, yeah, like, just free out the data and then allow everyone to analyze, like analyze what's happening. I think that'll be the birth of a new platform. I love Facebook and stuff. Could be. That could be like the next social. Yeah, it could be. Because I mean, like you know, Facebook has all been about like you know sharing links and brief messages yeah, and stuff. Yeah, your life. I think I yeah. guess people are trying to play Justin TV and that. Tried yeah, to but it just hasn't taken off. Whereas I mean, like the same with Facebook. He, he did it the critical mass and stuff. But I don't see Facebook actually making that leap. Like Facebook will be eclipsed at some point. Yeah. I guess the biggest thing is the hardware still there. Like, yeah. Just it's not like, easy to record your life. Yeah, like Justin Taylor, who's going to wear a freaking camera on yeah. their head non stop? Well, even with glasses and stuff, it's still. You have to put on. Weird, yeah. Like the, I like the thing on the roof. The though. roof, but see, even that's clunky. I, I think it needs to be with the. I think it needs to be the hot overlays, actually, that'll be the big thing. But you wouldn't put them on your head, you just said. Yeah, but say when the actually wearing glasses give you the added benefit of having augmented reality anyway. Then yeah. that could actually be that, oh look, of course I'll record my life at all points then. And then that's where the new platform post Facebook will emerge. Because people will be like, well of course I'm recording my life. And then you have a platform where everyone is sharing their life to a certain spot. And then that starts recommending you different stuff. Because it's kind of like Facebook instead of, except you're posting continuously. Yeah. 
Because the, the roofing and all that, we, we need something that 90% of the population will do. And then they won't well, do so that. surely, can you get like a suction cup? <laughs> no, but I mean, so, you, you know what I know though, like no, nobody would do that just for that point. Like say like Facebook and all of that, like well there were tons of ways to share stuff, but it was only until it was like that basic what? that 90% of the population started to do it. Plus you're probably going to go over the massive privacy issues. I don't know. I think that's less and less. Well, it's still a, like you... But look at Facebook. Like people were like privacy about that or it's just meh. Yeah, but it's still taking its time though. Yeah, very carefully. I mean, you still remember trying to argue with people about, you know, how do I turn my Facebook privacy settings off? I swear that's about to fall. Yeah. Yeah, but we're talking to like old people. Yeah. Well, so what would be the benefit in young people actually recording their lives? Like, we, we can see the benefit because we're like, oh my god, I can actually see my thought progression, but most people yeah, yeah. Even if you said that to people, they'd be like, oh, who cares? I don't care. It's a good point, actually. Maybe if they're like, oh, maybe if I can record how awesome my life is. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe, maybe that. Like, you never miss a moment ever again. You can replay your favorite yeah. memories. Never forget anything ever again. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably more the emotional than the intellectual side. It'd have to be the emotional. It'd be like, yeah, never forget ever again. Remember, like, you'd have all your contact details. You'd have everyone's number. Everything always permanently there. Everyone you've ever met. Yeah. Any memory, any good thing. Like, God, I'm starting to get sick of just the Facebook culture. It's just fucking annoying. I mean, it's like everyone's all about... Maybe it's just certain people that I kind of analyze. It's like they're all like, you know, party, party, yeah, yeah. It's my life. Shh. Sorry. Analyze it. Like, fuck you, recording. <laughs> I know it's recording. Like, you know what I mean, though? But, like, and, yeah, and, yeah. Like, those people, like, you can tell they're influenced by that Facebook culture. Because, like, they have to prove that they're awesome. Yeah, and they have to, like, every single post is always about, like, showing that, hey, my life is so awesome. Everything's cool and fine and hip and nice. Hip? Yep. <laughs> hip and hip hop. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 I know. And that's just not, that's just not those people. It's like, everyone, like, everyone's always, you rarely ever see a negative comment. It's always, like, a fun, gimmicky, like, Unless you follow those really fun. Darrow people. I like the Darrow people. They've always got crappy statuses about how awful their life is. Yeah, but they're never popular, are they? No, well, yeah, that's they true. Well, because you can't like it. Because, I mean, the whole Facebook culture is all about liking something. Yeah. Some post something negative. Oh, my God, I want to kill myself. Why does the world hate me so? You don't click Tristan Grace likes this. Like, I think there was actually a book that came out recently saying that how it's just, you know, promoting narcissism and short attention spans and... Yeah. And so that can't be good. You know, if we're going to a community-based hive mind situation and everyone's fucking narcissistic... We need to dislike as well, I guess. Yeah, we need to tell people... We, yeah, we need that negative feedback mechanism. We are, we're yeah. not getting it. Well, we are getting the negative that you don't get anything posted, so that means it's only positive stuff. But we need the negative in the good way. Yeah. But you see, we like, currently we're always, always talking about, you know, there should be a negative feedback mechanism. If they're doing something stupid, that like, everyone's... You know, every, it, it's very against our nature to say, dude, fuck you, you're doing it wrong, or something. Yeah. It's always like, oh, that's nice, yay, good work. <laughs> well, so what, what would you want to post on Facebook? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dar is your problem. Well, so it just... Oh, look, really. it, it could be like a massive, awesome kind of system for actually connecting people together. And it is a massive, awesome system for connecting people together. But you know, there's no value coming out of it yet. I think it's a tremendous value. Why, why else do we spend like, you know, an hour on a site every day or two hours? Because it's psychological. No, I think there's value. It's connecting with everyone. It is, but it's not... It's, there's, you're not getting any, um, I guess, innovation out of it. it, it you, you're, getting, you're getting social... I don't know, I don't even think you're getting social... Do you reckon you're getting social innovation? Cultural yeah, innovation? yeah, it's changing us. You said it yourself. It's changing, but... That's changing. innovation! Changing doesn't necessarily mean good innovation. And it, there's no such thing as good innovation, it's only innovation. Yeah, but this No, I disagree with that. <laughs> there's there, only there's, innovation. There's, there's certain directions. You're saying that's moving not in the right path that you're happy with. Yeah, exactly. So what's the right path? You know what the right path is? Well, something less, um... You know... <laughs> le less, like, whimsical and like, ha ha ha... I can't explain it, I can't put it in words. Uh, Vocabulary fails here. Because it's like... You can use Twitter. Actually, just follow the people because you can't like anything on Twitter. It's just yeah, posting no. stuff. Well, see, so I guess that could be the thing. Like, um, Facebook's kind of the original culture was just following your friends. Yeah. And then friends are very influenced by.
because it is very geographical, you have to kind of post stuff that because they're actually you're actually going to meet them, you know, in the next couple of weeks or whatever. Yeah. So you have to kind of post because that's your yes, that's your second social self. Yeah. That's actually you're actually interact. That's like. It's like when you go to a party, that's actually you on Facebook, right there. Yeah. And if you say something stupid, then everyone's going to think you're stupid. And then they'll attack your digital yeah. self on that, yeah. Yeah, it's, but it's like a, di a separate self. That's why you have to... So I kind of... Learned, like, I used to just post all the intellectual, like, thoughts and stuff, and then never got any response, and I'm sure people kind of developed a perception of me through yeah. that. And so now oh, do you know why not going to the party? Why? My, my party? Because apparently he has to be nice to you, and if Nathan starts shit with me, it's going to be bad in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Really? You pissed off Drew that much. Similar to me? Yeah. No, well, see, that, that was more you just calling him out. I know, because he's fucking in a bubble. Yeah. I like you said. Hi, Drew. <laughs> you God, religious people. Yeah. Step outside your bubble. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, the, cult, the culture's not good. But Whereas, it would be, so you're, you're analyzing it as like, a, oh, this isn't good, I'm not happy with it, but there's no solution to it. It's, there's, it is efficient in what it does. It, yeah, but it's not... So really, probably the best thing is, um, I guess, what Reddit and Twitter are trying to do, where you follow people that you want to follow, and follow, like, add, do that with your... like, add content you want to be reading, rather than, like... But you do that with Facebook. I do a little bit. I mean, come on, Reddit is the ultimate thing that, I mean, you post something and then the hype line doesn't like it, it downloads you into oblivion. Yeah. At least with Facebook, it goes out to everyone and you get that. But at the same time, I still like to use Facebook uh, more as a friend thing than a... Yeah. Like, I've probably got 50-50 friends, um, seeing that only business random internet people. Yeah. And so it's very difficult to actually, when I post, to actually <laughs> cater to everyone. Yeah. I know you can do that whole thing like just show the post to this one, but no, yeah, I don't think, that. think anyone does that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to go to bed. Stuff like that. From this is time. Quarter past twelve. We've got to teach tomorrow. Yay! Bye bye, high friend. Go. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bleep shit out of that. I'm gonna Why? bleep names out. Why? If they ever watch this. So what? No. 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 Nah. Name is all be bleeped. God, you, I hate you. <laughs> no, I'm bleeping it out. Mm.